Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in my jammers and I have no makeup on. I have just finished work, it's raining outside and I'm not going anywhere else. So I thought, why not film a video in my pajamas? So if you remember, a year and a half ago, I uploaded a video called Reacting to My Dream Journal. I do still have my dream journal. I mean, I don't think I've put many entries in it since because the last one that I put was November last year. Um, but there are still a few more that have not been read. Um, so I think we're going to get on with them. So in case you hadn't guessed, this is part two of reacting to my dream journal. Um, I don't think it's going to be as good as the last one, if the last one was even that good. I've literally just had to watch the end of it so I can find out which was the last one I read. And it turned out the last one I read was the one about me in One Direction. So, yeah. Let's get on with it. So this one was wrote the 6th of April 2016. And the title is Someone Stole My Bike. I don't even have a bike, so uh, that's a bit irrelevant. So it says, I went shopping with my friends and I was riding everywhere by my bike. I'm not sure if that sentence makes sense, but we'll roll with it. It was fun. Why do I ride like such a child? I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. I was like 16, almost 17 at this point, but still that's no excuse to write like a child. Um, when we got the train back to where we lived, we went in a few more shops here. Me still having my bike. We got to some traffic lights and that was when my bike disappeared. I don't know where it went, someone stole it. It made me really angry. I got upset and started screaming, where's my bike? I want my bike. And then we got back to my friend's house. I'm not sure how that all makes sense. If I'm riding the bike, I stop at some traffic lights and the bike gets stolen while I'm sat on it. Not quite sure how that works, but again, we'll, we'll roll with it just because I'll have to. So yeah, we're just gonna pretend that that is what happened. And I said that was mundane. Um although I don't actually know the meaning of that word, so yeah. Then I said the prevailing emotion was confusion. It still is now, nearly two years later. Um have I dreamed this dream before? No, I hadn't. Then <laughs> the picture is so bad. I'm so glad that I'm not showing them. My bike looks like the thing on Can Your Pet at the end when you can your pet. Um, and then I draw a bike and write underneath the closest thing to a bike, LOL. Then I draw myself going, where's my bike? Then one of my hands was like obsessively large. Obsessively, that, that's the wrong word. Um, I don't know the word, but it was extreme extremely it wasn't even extremely I just sort of said and said it was extremely large so then I drew an arrow to it so WTF is that because we don't swear and then the next one is the, then the drawing like next to me is a friend that says you've lost it with like a confused face thinking how could I have lost it when I'm sat on it well hey it's a dream dreams that meant to make sense then the interpretation it says that it could symbolise I am about to get something stolen or maybe this dream was just a random one that wasn't needed. Why are my interpretations so crap? Like, quite literally, they are crap. Okay, so the next one was a month and seven days later. A month and a week later. Why didn't I just say that? It would have been so much easier. So... This one's called, I have braces. And it says, I was out shopping with my mum in Asda. Oh, what a great place to go shopping. When I started eating some sort of hard boiled sweets that I shouldn't have been eating because of my braces. Bear in mind, I've never had braces in my life. I was told last time I went to the dentist that I might need them. 
but I haven't had anything since, so I don't know. Suddenly, one gets stuck and I can't move it. My mum manages to remove it, but snaps the wire at the same time. I'm walking along thinking that I'll be fine, but then my whole top layer of braces fell out. I don't think that could happen, but okay. So I started screaming and crying on saying how much I hate them, but then my mum makes an appointment at the dentist. What is that? What is that? That is literally the most crap, like, story about a dream ever. Like, what the hell? Then my... The thing I've clicked at the bottom, clicked, no, ticked, is mundane, which is probably about right. Then the prevailing emotion I put was fear. I'm not sure why I said fear, but I did. Have I dreamed this dream before? I said no. Then my drawing, honestly, it is unreal. I don't even want to talk about it. And then underneath it says framework, the inaccurate rendering close to my crap, and I just ticked crap because it really is. It's next level crap. Then my reflection, that it's just plain weed because I don't need braces, so this dream makes no sense to me at all. That one is a better interpretation than the last one, but hey, you never know, do ya? So, yeah. Okay, the next one is, was literally two days after this, like, the one I've just read. So this one was the 15th of May. Um, and this one's called Holiday With My Ex, from the year before. <laughs> Like, from the beginning of the year to, like, July. I think, if I remember rightly, it was him. I just hope I never have to go on holiday with him. Because that would just be weird. Okay, this one is... I was going to Cyprus for three weeks with my ex-boyfriend. Awkward. But I couldn't go because I couldn't get my ticket, even though there was five seats booked. Then I ran off because I couldn't be bothered to stand there and tried to get my ticket... But he came and followed me, so I told him to just go because I couldn't get my ticket. Because, 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 because. How many times did I want to say because? I think I don't, I don't even think I said it that much. I think you only said it three, three times. I said it three times, but it just sounded like I was constantly going because, 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 because. But yeah, yeah. And then I said that was just plain bizarre, and my prevailing emotion was confusion. That's probably about right because I have no idea why I'd want to go on holiday with an ex-boyfriend. It, it's just weird to me. Have I dreamed this dream before? Once was enough, thanks. <laughs> Quite frankly, I've never dreamed it again, so it's all right. Then the sketch was like a screen with my name and a person not found underneath, and then like a long line of like people. And then I said the drawing was close enough. It really wasn't, but hey. And I don't even know what it looks like in an airport because I've never been to an airport because I've never been on holiday. So, I don't know. Then my reflection or interpretation is plain weird. Why would my ex-boyfriend want me to go on holiday with him when we haven't spoke since July 2016? He also has a new... Sorry, since July 2015. Sorry, because it hadn't even been July 2016 at this point. July 2015. He also has a new girlfriend house and he's engaged, so it's plain weird. That is still very true. He does still have his own house. Now fiancé and a dog. Hang on, I said he also has a new girlfriend house and he's engaged. So is it a girlfriend or fiancé? It's definitely fiancé. And he definitely has his own house and he has a puppy. So, or at least that was the last I heard. The next one is from the 24th of May, 2016. This one is called Best Friend and Her Skype Call. I know which best friend this is, but I don't even want to say names, so I think I'm just going to make them up. So, the boy is going to be called Ben, and the girl's going to be called... Just because I don't want to say the actual names because then the person will know who it is. So we're going to change the names. I was out with my family for the day and then we ended up going home because it was chucking it down. And then I was just chilling out and I got a text from my best friend saying, Oh my God, I just saw Ben strip. And then he messaged me saying, Oh my God, I just saw Becca strip. It was weird. 
Um, and I said that was plain bizarre because like, I don't think they've ever FaceTimed since, like before everything happened between them. Then I said my prevailing emotion was confusion. Um, have I dreamed this dream before? Once was enough. Thanks. And then the picture I drew was a picture of like a Facebook chat. And it was meant to be like it was on my HTC at the time because I did have a HTC. Um, and I said close enough so yeah and it literally it says the name of the friend at the top the like video call button and the phone call button and then the message says oh my god I just saw Ben strip and then the reply for me was what really so yeah and then my interpretation was that they will end up skyping one day although there will be no stripping they will they will skype I hope there is no stripping if they ever do Skype but yeah so then the next dream after that was the, from the 15th of June 2016 and the title is outfit purchase 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 I don't know purchase eh, I don't care how it's pronounced at all honest the honesty why am I not finishing my sentences <laughs> uh, so this one says me and my family decided to go out shopping all the shops closed at six but we went in at 5 50 p.m oh rebels there was a gay sales assistant who was helping me to get an outfit he spent so long doing that that i had to buy the items he chose regardless of whether or not i like them because it turned six okay then then I've said that it was Monday, my prevailing emotion was confusion and that I have not dreamed this dream before. And then the picture was, a, the, draw, uh, the drawing was the man saying, sorry doll, hope these are okay. And then me replying saying, okay, thank you for your help. And then I said it was crap, because it is. <laughs> um, then my interpretation like my reflection about it says that when I go shopping I will need a personal shopper to help me buy something and then for that one I said that I'll re-examine it later okay right the last no it's not the last one sorry I'm, I'm gonna read like a few more um so this one is called I failed my theory and it was from the 24th of June 2016 and I did actually have my theory six days after this and I can confirm I did pass the third time lucky. So I wrote, I was due to go and do my theory test for the third time. I did go the third time. The room was really small and claustrophobic. It wasn't. <laughs> I went in and sat in my given seat. I got on with my theory test feeling very proud of myself thinking I would have passed. I go and get my results and find out I failed. Again? But the marks had changed the theory part of it. But the marks had changed. The theory part of it was 30 out of 50 and the hazard perception was 31. I got below both but don't understand why. And then I said that it was a nightmare because like, it was. They changed like the marks and I didn't know. Um, I said my prevailing emotion was fear. I, I haven't dreamed this dream before. Um, then I did a drawing of like the letter you get when you've done your theory test and said that it was crap and it says dear dot 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 you have failed your theory test you scored 25 out of 50 and you needed to score 30 you scored 22 and has a perception when you needed 31 savage and then like I said I said it was crap and then my interpretation was that I will fail on my third attempt, although I know that I'm going to pass with flying colours as I've worked my butt off. And I did. Yes. Then little did I know, four months later I'd have passed my test. Oh yeah. My driving test, that is. <laughs> and then I said that it was insignificant. 
Then the next one is from the 9th of July, 2016. New phone and meeting my ex. What is it with me meeting my exes? I saw her down. Then, I didn't even get a new phone at this point. I didn't get a new phone till November. And that's the one I've got now. Oh well. So it says, it was just a normal day in the Jones household until a parcel arrives at the door with my name on. But I hadn't ordered anything. I checked my recent purchase history, but nothing. I opened it to find a brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 in the box. WTF? Who did it come from? A few hours later, I go down the river and I climb up a little hill and sit down. Next thing I know, my ex is sat next to me. We talk for a bit, then I go before anything happens. I should have ticked that that was a nightmare, but instead, I said it was mundane. Um, the prevailing emotion, I said, was confusion. Then I said, no, I haven't dreamed this dream before. And then how would I sketch it? Um, well, I kind of did the box with the Samsung phone in it. That says Facebook on the screen. And then me saying, eh? Mom, who sent me this? I haven't ordered anything. <laughs> That's just how I talk. I love it. Eh? Mom, I haven't ordered this. <laughs> then I said the drawing was close enough. No, it really wasn't. And I think I might have just smudged that unless I did that before. But it kind of looks like I've just done it. I don't know. Then my interpretation. I don't know that maybe I will get a new phone and meet my ex by accident. Although I prefer not to as he's happy and so am I. Oh, yes, bitch. Then I said dream understood. No, it wasn't. Okay, the next one is the 26th of July, 2016. Sleeping with Sirens concert. I don't like sleeping with Sirens enough to see them in concert. Don't get me wrong. I like some of their songs. Or most of their songs. But not enough to see them in concert. So it says, So... Me and my family had tickets to see Sleeping With Sirens, even though my mum, dad and brother do not like them. We got, the, got to the arena and it was sit wherever you like, and there were seats two rows from the front, so I went straight to them. We were coming to the end and my mum and dad were like, come on, we're going now so we can beat traffic. So we did, but me and my sister were gutted we couldn't see the end. Sad fits. Then I said, mundane. I didn't even take what my prevailing emotion was, so I just mustn't have had one. Then, have I dreamed this dream before? I said no. And then the ticket said, Seating with Sirens plus, spe plus special guest, 26th of July, 2016, seats. And I said an accurate rendering. And then my interpretation was, I don't know, that we'll all get to go, we won't, as this is what my dream is telling me. And I didn't even take a thing at the bottom. And I'm just going to take insignificant. Right. I think. This is going to be my last one now because I don't want this video to go on for too long and bore you. So here we go. The last one is called Confusing Day and it was the 27th of July 2016. So literally the same, like the next day, like after the last one that I just read out, which is weird because I've never like had anything like that before. So this one, we left the house to go shopping and it was a beautiful day. As soon as we get to the top of the street, the sky goes black. It starts raining and thundering and lightning. So we run into my mum's friend's house. Ha ha. Then we left her house and then went to go back outside and it was lovely again. So we went and played with a ball down the castle. Yes, there is a, a castle just down the road from us. Um, I mean, it's not well known. Um, but the, then again, the place I live in isn't well known. Um, but yeah, there's a castle. I said it was mundane. The prevailing emotion was confusion. I haven't dreamed this dream before. Then I drew a picture of a castle and me kicking a ball and I have an awfully long leg. Um, and I said it was an accurate rendering. And then my interpretation was that the weather is a load of crap and we shouldn't believe what the weather forecast says. You go girl, you tell them. Right, so that's the end of this video. If you would like me to do another one, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to film another one for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because you know, it would really mean a lot. Um, even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up because every thumbs up means a lot. 
um if you have any ideas of videos that you would like me to film leave them in the comments below and i'm sure i'll be able to film them film 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 them for you and if you haven't already go down there go down there and press the subscribe button because you know every little subscriber helps oh i'm pinching a supermarket trade line add my own word in it oh savage um but yeah if you haven't do that now and you may also press the little bell button next to it so that you get notifications for every time i upload and not just occasionally anyway i will see you soon with another video goodbye